This is the future. Future. Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And this is Minecraft episode 17. And as you guys know, we are starting to build a new castle, a much, much bigger castle than the previous one. So we are done with our front room, and in today's video, we are going to build a chapel or a church or any one of them so this is going to be our chapel um, it's probably it's going to be for all the villagers and everyone living in my castle but uh, it's not that big, so maybe it's going to qualify more than a chapel than a church. But anyway, I've started this build totally different than my normal builds. I actually started with the interior first, decorating the interior a little bit to get a feel for the size of the place. Because at this moment I still did not know how big it's going to be. And as you guys know, I don't do much planning to begin with. I get an idea in my head. And I just start going with it and as it develops my ideas change so you guys can see I had to increase the floor size a little bit and uh, that was just to get the whole seating in first to build this entire church from beginning to end took me about three and a half hours I really like this wood design and that's why I used it for the chairs because it's got this very intricate design Next up, I wanted to build the podium. Obviously, the how will we put this? The man of the cloth or the person in charge of the church has to have a place to preach from. So I don't want to say this is a, a priest, and I don't want to say this is a pastor because here we've got pastors, overseas you've got priests, and so on. So let's just say um, the church guy or the guy in charge is going to be preaching from this podium. With the lectures on, or lecturers on, it is time to kind of finish up the whole podium, putting a little bit of um, small finishing touches on the podium. I decided to put a little bit of a baptism fountain there, um, just for the baptism thingy, uh, because I actually didn't think of putting a big bathtub or something there, so I thought this will be fine for now. Next step was to start building the foundation for the bell tower. As you guys can see, I've started doing all the foundation first before I even started building the walls and the roof. I first wanted to get a layout, more or less, of what the place is going to look like. So that's going to be the bell tower. And then I also thought I need to make a bedroom for the church guy to live in. He's going to live in the church. Like most of the pastors, I think, live in the church where they serve or close by. Um, let's call it a perk. The guy gets to stay in the church or he gets to stay at work. So I decided to build a room which is quite large because he's going to have his own ensuite bathroom inside his room. For this build, I decided to go with black and white concrete black for the corners and white for the walls. Um, after seeing how dull and grey the throne room looked like, I thought I must maybe try something different and I wanted to go for the old look. Um, you guys know like uh, most of the house in Britain, they've got this white walls and the dark in between uh, this black and white contrast and I must say it really looks stunning.
Since this is a church, I don't want to go with an old boring ceiling, so I took this design block to make a nice looking ceiling. I also wanted to make a big cross at the back of the back wall. And I first had to make the cross before I could do the roof because the size of the cross determined the height of the roof. Um, I would have liked to make the cross a little bit skinnier or smaller but unfortunately that was not possible. Next up is just filling up all the gaps and creating the windows. I also didn't want to go for clear glass so I used multicolored glass panes for the windows. Almost like we did in the throne room. And this is what it looks like. Here's a quick view of what the church looks like on the inside. I think it turned out quite nice. I love the windows. I actually love the cross. It's a nice idea. And uh, the doors. So next up, very boring thing. Completing the bell tower. We even have a bell for our bell tower, because what is a bell tower without a bell, and what is a church without a bell tower? Next up was building a way to get to the bell tower, like a normal person, not someone who can fly up there, so I had to build steps and platforms to be able to climb up to the top. Now the very very boring job of finishing the roof, which took about an hour and a half. I think this looks very very good, but look at this throne room, let's do something about it, shall we? Ah, much better, much much better. I think this whole project turned out extremely nice, um, I just have to finish the bedroom now for the priest or the preacher and uh, like I told you guys I've added a lot of stuff already in the last few days but so far this is what I'm going to show you the throne room and the church slash chapel and there is still a lot to come there's still plenty gonna happen so let's quickly take a look after I've completed everything we've got this nice brown carpet We've got enough seating for quite a couple of people. Multicolored glass panes, a very shiny roof with a nice design. I think it's quartz, if I'm not mistaken. The cross at the back really is a, a focus point. We've got a nice lecture. We've got the little baptism fountain thingy, some holy water in it. <laughs> I put some flowers in there just to make it nice. Um, Looks quite legit there, looks quite authentic, I must say I, I like it, nice small chapel. I would have wanted to put a gallery on top but it would have cost me more planning and I just thought against it. Going to the bell tower, you go up the steps all the way to the bell, but we're not going to do that now. Then uh, to the bedroom, at this point I have completed the bedroom, I actually forgot to record that part. I put these nice plants here, some ferns, and I put the glass window there, and welcome to the bedroom. We've got a nice double bed, and some flowers, some candles, we've got a lot of books in here, because remember, the guy should be learned, learned, <laughs> um, so he is quite uh, sufficient. Nice big closet, with lots of packing space for all his clothes, and whatever he might have. A little study corner if he wants to stand and read something a lot of books like I said and uh, some packing space for his clothing going into the bathroom we have a shower which is much more effective than a bathtub with a towel a uh, slash window a hammer kind of thing and a small wash basin and a functional toilet I would have liked to really lift that toilet idea but it's difficult to build a toilet in Minecraft if you don't really know how and I still haven't figured out how to turn some of the blocks so that for now is my best way of doing it uh, let's add some paintings I'll say much better some decorating some paintings and so on so yeah guys this is my chapel um, if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, remember to subscribe to this channel 
if you want to get notified of the next upload which should be within the next few days where I'm going to show you my treasury as well as the wine cellar still to come will be the living quarters for myself and my family and the ballroom so guys until well, until next time uh, whatever you do remember to keep it safe and uh, I'll see you next time cheers